There are currently thousands of different gene and cell therapies being studied in clinical trials in hopes there could be a potential treatment for specific diseases that have little to no other treatment options. But what even is a clinical trial? And why is it so important? Clinical trials research the way a drug or treatment will interact with the human body. But first, a preclinical study must happen. Preclinical studies first test the treatment in cells or animals, looking for positive or negative effects. These studies may take several years to conduct. If the preclinical results are promising, meaning it should provide a participant with more benefit than risk, the researcher then designs the study for humans. An investigational new drug application can then be submitted to a government regulatory agency such as the FDA in the United States. The FDA, working alongside local ethics committees, review the preclinical study data, how the treatment is made, and make sure the clinical trial is designed to do everything possible to minimize risks to the volunteers. Every trial has unique guidelines for who can and cannot participate in the study. Here to explain more is Dr. Megan zosk Kanair. These guidelines, called eligibility criteria, are characteristics that all participants must have. They commonly include age, gender, medical history, and more. By making sure that volunteers meet this criteria, researchers can better understand results of the clinical trial. Before someone can volunteer to participate in a clinical trial, there is an informed consent process. The researcher will have a discussion with the participant to ensure they understand the details of the trial, what to expect before, during, and after, and what their rights are during the trial. Clinical trials are conducted in phases. Each phase is helping to answer more questions to better understand the treatment. Any setbacks during the study may delay the clinical trial process. And if at any point during the clinical trial a treatment is not deemed safe, it will not move forward. Safety is a priority in each and every phase. This includes monitoring for adverse events, which are any unexpected health problems. The researcher collects information on how the event relates to the treatment, the severity, frequency, and how it can be resolved. In turn, these become the expected side effects to be aware of. Phase one tests if the treatment is safe for a small number of participants. Sometimes this phase can determine the right dosage amount. Phase two expands the number of participants receiving the treatment to see if the benefits outweigh any risks. The treatment then enters phase three, which typically lasts the longest. In this phase, the main goal is to see if the treatment produces the desired result while being safe in an even larger group of participants. If a treatment is being studied for a rare disease or for a condition that has a high unmet medical need, some phases can be combined to make the evaluation process more efficient. After the clinical trial has shown enough evidence of being a safe and effective treatment, the regulatory agency makes a final decision about whether the treatment will be approved to use. The whole process for a single treatment from the first clinical trial to approval takes years, sometimes even eight or more. Even after the clinical trial is complete, there are years of required follow-up appointments for participants to continue monitoring the safety and outcomes of these new treatments. The time it takes to research and move through the clinical trials process is necessary to properly develop safe and effective treatments. For more information on gene therapy clinical trials, visit patienteducation.asgct.org.